Whoa, there we are. What is up guys? Welcome back to the studio. I'm John the Potter. Man, it's been a second since I've been doing any videos, but welcome back to the studio. We have a super fun video today. We are gonna do a Raku, which means that basically we fire super fast up to like 1800 degrees and we have some exciting, we're gonna do some horse hair, but actually I'm gonna use my own hair for this. So it's gonna be really interesting. That might be a little weird, I don't know. Uh, but last year I made quite a few of these hair pots. This is an example of what they kind of look like and they were super popular. Anytime I pulled one out of the kiln at the event, they sold really quickly. Anytime I had any extra, uh, they sold super fast. So we are gonna make some of these today. Uh, but before we get going on that, I wanna let you know about a few fun things we got going on this summer. First of all, our epic pottery event that we did for the first time last year uh, is coming back, the second edition, August 13th and 14th. Um, all the details you can find in the description below, as well as our two, we have two restocks coming up in June. So June 5th is the first one that we'll have some Raku pots, we'll have a bunch of mugs, uh, a bunch of great stuff. June 5th and June 26th we'll have, those are basically our two big online sales for the summer, uh, and then the rest will be at the event, August 13th and 14th. So, sorry I've been slacking on the videos, I'm gonna get back, I got a bunch of ideas for some cool videos this summer. So, all right, let's do it. So these Raku pots, I have a kiln that I made, so I'll show you that, we're gonna set it up, Basically, it'll take like an hour to fire up, then we'll pull the pots out when they're at their hottest, throw a few of them that are glazed, these ones will go into garbage bins full of like newspaper, it'll light everything on fire, then we'll like create a reduction atmosphere with the garbage cans, and then these ones, which are unglazed, we'll take out while they're still hot, and then we'll lay like hair on top of them, and then it'll hopefully burn in like this. And they'll put a little sealer over. So. Super fun process. We'll be doing lots of demos at the event if you wanna come by my studio in August. So, all right, let's get going on setting this thing up. Yeah, I'll, I'll help. Okay. All winter, this kiln has been sitting over here and we had some animals make a nest and we're not sure what kind of animals they are, but Kai thinks they're squirrels. So we're gonna attempt to try and move the nest and save them. The plan is to put the horsehair ones in the back. I say horsehair, but it's actually gonna be human hair. Oh. Do this one. When I say horse hair, I mean human hair. Yep, we're all closed. 
Was gonna. I remove this straight off. <laughs> of my bun. That was poor planning. finished and uh, definitely didn't get hot enough this kiln was I think we lost some insulation over the winter uh, some critters had crawled their way into uh, the kiln so I think I need to kind of reline it there was a lot of places that were losing heat so after I plugged up some holes then it did start gaining more heat but you know we should really be at 1800 degrees in like an hour hour 15 and we were at two hours and we were still only at like 1500 so it was a little disappointing. So the glazes definitely didn't mature for the Raku, but we did get the cool horsehair effect, which I think come anywhere from 14 to 1600 degrees that works. So yeah, it's good. It's good first fire in the year, but we'll definitely be fixing the kiln up and plugging some holes and making sure it retains heat a little better. Maybe rebuild a little bit. But... Okay, so it's a few days later and uh, we did get a couple cool things out. This piece came out and it actually looks super cool. Um, so it definitely, Raku really has a large range of temperatures that things can work. Um, I would have liked most of it to get a little hotter, but this has still turned out pretty cool. Uh, and then these turned out super cool. So excited about those, but got lots of work to do uh, in figuring out how we can insulate that kiln a little bit better. Uh, you can see like some of the, when you burn it on, like some of these didn't quite burn on. Like this, it stays on really well, but um, this didn't really burn on as well which means that it got below the temperature where we needed it to be so exciting stuff we uh, will do a bunch of these in the event in August so if you want to come see we'll uh, we'll have the kiln all figured out by then otherwise thank you guys so much for watching this video check out our next restock June 5th these three pots plus a ton of mugs will be for sale uh, and I hope to see you in August at the event hope you're doing well see you guys in the next video <laughs> I do another one right here. There you go. I'll put the hair. There's some hair there. I'll probably take my Daddy won't do it. Okay. Take it. Take it. Take it. Should it go down more? What in the heck? <laughs>